Morning Boss Talk topic. What are your day ones bringing to you today? One thing I constantly see is people are loyal to everything except their own success. They loyal to their childhood friends. They loyal to street code. They loyal to their favorite artists or sports team. They loyal to nigga culture. But when it comes to the things that's going to assure their success, they're not loyal to it. When they learn some things that they need to do to guarantee that success, it's like, nah, I can't do that because in I find that it's no thing bigger that keeps people from their success than not wanting to expand their network and have some new friends. Folks is just so so loyal to this concept of no new friends. Now, Drake told y'all that, but the only reason he is where he is is because he got new friends. Now, if you want to succeed, you're going to have to have some new friends. But, but understand this. I'm not telling you cut nobody off. See, we got this this all or none culture that's going on like either they my friends or I got to cut them off. I don't cut people off. I ain't, I, I just grow. And if you come with me, you come with me. If you add to me, then you add to me. I ain't like I ain't dealing with this person. I ain't dealing with that person. That's kid stuff, man. When you when you grown, you just live your life and whoever fall by the wayside, fall by the wayside. Ain't no love lost. I don't, I don't I don't have any less love for any of my homies today than I did when I was hanging with them every single day. But as an adult with a family, who's hanging with their friends every day anyway? I'm going to tell you five kind of people, five kind of new friends that you need to add into your life to assure your success and make and make sure that you're going to boss up. One, you need a faith partner. You need somebody that no matter what kind of idea you got, you can go to them and they'll believe that you're able to achieve it. Me, my little cousin, Doug C. Jr., make sure you check him out at Doug C. Jr. He makes some dope music. I could call little cuz with any idea. I could call little cuz and say, listen, I think I figured out how to fly. He can be like, man, you think you can fly? I'm sorry, cuz, I think I can fly. He can be like, man, if you believe it, I believe it. That's it. You need somebody in your life that when you come with these ideas, see, when you just got your day one friends, that's all you deal with, and none of them believe like that, how are you going to believe in yourself? You need to have somebody that you can talk to about ideas, and they be like, man, I think you can do this. I know you can do this. Next thing you need is, like I talked about the other day, you need somebody that can correct you. You got to have somebody in your squad that's going to correct you from doing some dumb stuff. Now, I know the way I grew up, it wasn't no correction. Our our motto was, you know, we move on a lie. We move whether you right or wrong. So it, it wasn't no correction like, no, don't do that. It was, all right, you already did it. It's on. War started. Pick up the gap. Whatever. It's on. Nah, you got to have somebody in the circle who's going to correct you. Now, none of your day ones is going to correct you. You need to add that person to your to your to your circle and the first person, the person that's going to believe. So if you don't have a person that believes or a person that's going to correct you in your circle, they two new friends that you need to go get. Third thing, you need a friend that inspires you. You need to have somebody who doing some stuff that make you look at it like, damn. All right. I got the boss up. Not that you are competition, not that you jealous, just that you inspired. See, because jealousy means you want what they have. Inspiration means you want what you're supposed to have. So you need somebody in your circle who moving in such a way that they make you want to become a better you. Who in your circle make you want to become a better you? I ain't talking about somebody that's, that you jealous of, somebody that you envious of, somebody that who, whose life you want. Who makes who inspires you to be a better you? That's the third person that you need. Then you need a person who's going to connect you. You got to have somebody in your circle who knows a bunch of different people who can connect you to certain things and help you get the resources, help you get the exposure, help you get the things that you need. And if none of your day one friends can do that, you need to add that fourth person to your circle. How you think you're going to succeed if, if none of your day ones believe in you, if none of your day ones will correct you, if none of your day ones will connect you or none of your day ones going to inspire you? You got to add these people to your circle. Are your day one? What are your day ones bringing to you today? Again, I ain't telling you cut nobody off. I'm telling you it's time to add some folks to your circle. That's what I'm telling you. It's time to add some folks to your circle. So if you if you listen to this and you like, damn, none of my day ones is doing any of this. Well, you need to go get four more folks to your circle. But here go the fifth one. And, and this is this is one of the most necessary things that you need, people that you need. You need somebody that believes 
in you more than you believe in you. You need somebody that sees you bigger than you see yourself. You got to have that person that be like, yo, bro, yo, sis, I swear you could do X, Y, and Z. Yo, I know you was doing that, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, yo, you could do this and you can do that. You need that person that's going to believe in you more than you believe in yourself because they're going to hype you up. Like, it's, it's always that person out there. They, they, they always smiling. They, they just love, they love you with all their heart because they see so much greatness in you. They see so much potential in you. And they like, yo, I'm telling you, you could do this. You can do that. Those are the five people that you need to add to your circle. Ask the question, what are my day ones bringing to my today? And we think about what you're bringing because you are only the sum total of the top five people that you hang around the most. So if you add up everything that they are and divide it by five, that's you. And if you don't like that number, then you need to change it. And the way you change it is by adding new people in your life. Again, I ain't telling you cut nobody else off. So one, you need, um, where did I start off? I'll be losing my train of thought sometimes. You need a person that believes in you when you have your ideas. You need a person who's going to correct you. You need a person that's going to connect you. You need a person that's going to inspire you to be your best self. And you need somebody who sees you bigger than you see yourself. When you add those five people to your, your, your circle, bossing up is an automatic thing. Ain't nothing going to be able to stop you from your success. But if you don't have people that bring those five qualities to your life, I guarantee you, you're going to stay stagnant forever because you are not just going to be able to be great on your own. You need a circle that's going to empower you. As always, Remember, boss up the rules to being the boss comes out May 17th. Stop by www.bfnkrumah.com and pick up something that's all already there. And remember, y'all, I love y'all.